No rest for the African champions. After earning a star, the Brazilians had to catch up all the games in the PSL they had missed, chasing continental glory. All this too went swimmingly, despite the grueling two-game-a-week schedule, until they came across a struggling but determined Ajax Cape Town, a week before they embarked on the toughest assignment this year, the Club World Cup in Japan. When nobody saw that one coming, Ajax wanted it more than us. As a team, we took a lot of lessons out of it. It's always difficult to play a team that is fighting for the eye for the bottom of the league. As a team like Mambi Sundowns, I know we've got this huge responsibility in our shoulder to try and win every match that we play. We all wanted to win so bad. Luck was not on our side, we created chances, but we couldn't score. Had we scored those chances, I'm sure the game was going to be different. I think a loss to Ajax was important to bring the spark back. Unfortunately, we lost three points. To win the Champions League in here, to lose the best bits in the top eight. I hope it doesn't work out like that, that for us to win something, we need to lose something first. We should try and win all the time. But we are trying to win all the time. We look at Barcelona, they're winning every time now. We got our pride back against first day stars. We played well and scored beautiful goals. To be honest with you, I've never seen a game that has so many beautiful goals. They just showed their class. As has become customary this year, the Brazilians were given a hero send-off as they headed east in search of global glory. It's really humbling eh, to be where we are. That's why I told the boys before the Champions League, you don't know how big it is to win the Champions League until you've won it. Well, they thought maybe it's like winning a cup, Telcom Cup. No, it's not the same. After Telcom Cup, it's finished. There's nothing after. And this one was a big one. Just winning this Champions League, it gives you automatic qualifications to two other cups for the pride of the club. It gives you a super cup. It gives you an opportunity to be top six team in the world at this point in time. We're FIFA World Cup. It's unbelievable. And beyond that, we have a star on our emblem. It's not only that. The way Africa has responded to South Africa, the way Africa has responded to Mamelodi. Sundowns. The whole continent speaks Mamelodi Sundowns. You're going to really see the media in Kenya, Angola, Zimbabwe. Oh, we are international team now. Four of my players are nominated for CAF Africa Club Player of the Year. You know, it has been a marvelous season, it has been good for our supporters. They've seen lots and lots of wins. You can't ask for more. Well, you can. Business class, please. It's totally different to traveling to Africa when you travel to the FIFA World Cup. It was a very enjoyable experience. It was the first time for me to experience such life inside the plane. We were placed in the business class. The coach said, this is what we deserve. We've really worked hard and we deserve every moment of this. And I am really grateful that I was able to experience the change of levels in the way things are done all over the world. It was an exciting feeling, not only for the young ones, but also us as people who have been traveling a lot to various countries. It has been you know, something that is very, very special. You know, The occasion itself says a lot. We're traveling from South Africa to Japan, knowing that we're going there for World Cup. It's something that's very, very, very special to us as players. And also, you know, it's a confidence booster at its own, knowing that we win there to play World Cup. Another thing that no South African team has ever done, it's only us, and I think we should cherish this moment and try and enjoy it. The hotel, I really love the hotel. It's quite big. I didn't expect it to be this big. It actually doesn't look like a hotel because there's so much space, there's so much things happening around it. When you look at the entrance, you'll think it's just a normal hotel. But once you enter and you see what takes place within the hotel, it's very different to what you expect. And I really love my stay here. From Champions League to here is chalk and cheese, let's be honest. The country itself is a different country. It's, this is just like Europe at its best. Yeah, hotel, beautiful. The right level, the right standard transport. Uh, people around, I mean, we've got seven people around our team. Where can you get seven people giving to your team? Whatever you ask, somebody's here to give it to you. It's another level. And also the mentality of the Asian people, the mentality of the Japanese. You know, they work hard, they pay attention to details, they are reliable, they are forever there, there are no lapse of concentration. These people, when you just come off the lift, they are waiting for you. I've never seen this before. You know, we have been treated like kings here. It's like we are Real Madrid. You can only find this if you come to places like this. It's a benefit. So the boys are world stars now. I just came from the Olympics. It's similar. It's very organized. There's lots of help when you need help. Things are ready for you. 
all the time. This is a good opportunity for us to showcase the world what we have in South Africa, you know, and also learn from the best because this is a different level of football. While the team took time to recover from jet lag, the technical team took a breather, a lost opportunity before the final preparations for the World Cup to do a little Christmas shopping. In life, there must be time to relax and gather your energies and you need team building also. And also with your families that we're going back to. I think you, you'd imagine when I come back from Japan, my little one will be looking at me like this to say, what do you have there in the back for me? I can't have an excuse. I should be able to support the loved ones who have been supporting us on this journey and they haven't seen us for long. And also when you come back, it's nice, it's Christmas time, it's a beautiful time. After sampling what Osaka had to offer, the technical team joined the players and they headed for their first ever training session in Japan. And once again, the Japanese delivered. Looking at the stadiums we've been playing in, in Africa, when we played in uh, Congo, it was terrible, but uh, definitely it shows that Asia is, is way far from Africa because the training ground itself is quality. It's more than the, the playing pitch in most of African stadiums. It's a learning lesson for African teams as well to, to develop their stadiums because here uh, football is taken very seriously because the pitch was absolutely fantastic. It's more than a training pitch. It's more like a playing pitch. It's very, very impressive to see a country like Japan who are not so much known about football to be having such uh, great stadiums and such training grounds. I mean, the pitch is greasy, it's, it's wet. I mean, it brings the best out of you. It's a very good lesson for us and we must also tell it to other people out there in our countries to show that football is not only about playing, it's about also respecting the game. It's a privilege and an honor to be in Japan and also to be part of the World Cup. And for me, uh, this has been a highlight of my career so far. Being in the same tournament as other top teams, including Real Madrid, it's a big thing. And for me, I'm just enjoying it. I'm taking everything in, enjoying the experience and also my time in Japan, what I've seen so far, it's beautiful and I'm enjoying it. The following morning, the whole team got to go into the Osaka CBD and experience the sights and sound of Japan firsthand and the legendary shopping, of course. Hai, karimasta! Told the players, yes, we are in the World Cup. Yes, the game is important. Yes, we are representing the country. Yes, we are representing Africa. But you must never forget number one. And number one is you and your family. So that part must be also indicated for because when that part is not looked after, you can't have the football, right? Because football is played by a human being. So let's look at the human being first. We have to look after that. And I said the boys also gonna go around and uh, do shopping. The little time that we get to get off football, we really have to make use of because we've been playing football nonstop for over 15 months, 16 months. And few hours that we get, the coach always manages to find the right time where he allows us to be able to forget about football and focus on who we are and the life that we have because he always tells us he has to find the balance between our lives and football because he needs us to be fresh in both departments. So for us to be able to be given an opportunity to go out and see their country and be able to get different gifts for people back home, it was really perfect because he considered that we also need time to rest in order for us to come back fresh. With the shopping, it gets rid of pressure. You know, you think of something else besides football till the moment you go to training. So it's something that I think everyone really needed and to go back and give something to your families and say, you know, I got you something where I come from. It's not like you just came here to play a big tournament, but you can't see the place and you're always in, inside the hotel. 